Where? Yeah, where? I wasn't going there. I was to Tahiti, you know? Uh, and I, I didn't enjoy being married in the beginning. The following day I was like, uh, uh, I go to work. And I was like, oh. I come from work and I go straight to my bathroom. And I would cry and cry and cry. I fell in depression. I stay in bed. I lost my energy to do things. Why did I just do? And it got worse. So I told my wife, you're acting like nothing really ever happened. I'm over here like, ah. And she's like, no, 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 no. And I would say things like, you're probably not even safe. Because there's no conviction in your life. And she's like, get over it already. I'm like, see, there it is. See, you're probably not even a Christian. Wow. <laughs> Remember what David said? He said, oh, and that man, who is this man? Remember Nathan said, you know, uh, this man took the only sheep that this man had. And he says, well, this man, you know, deserves what? Punishment, you know? Yeah. And so he didn't know, when you're in those things, you don't know how to think. And you start like pointing fingers that way. And you know, when you tell a woman that you didn't want to marry her, don't, don't ever tell a woman you didn't want to marry her. <laughs> you know, like. But I was telling her the truth, not because I, was, I wanted to hurt her. I was just telling her I didn't want to do this. And so that hurts a person. That hurts a person. I couldn't find my place. I just couldn't find my place. Amen. And I ended up here. I left, I left going to school for uh, institute. I left everything behind. I said, you know what? I'm just going to seek God. Because I really don't know what to do anymore. I wish I could tell you that, you know, everything got better. It got worse. Now the problems were coming at home. I have a 16-year-old daughter. I have a 16-year-old daughter. And it hurt my daughter. Because I was, for nine years, I was by myself, serving God. And then I did this. Ah, you know? I did this. And you know what? My daughter, later on, my daughter was attacked by suicide. Do you guys know that suicide attacks young people? Oh, yeah. And, I mean, it just didn't get worse. It got, just like, it got worse. And then one day, my daughter and I, you know, went at it. And she told her mom, I don't want, I don't want my dad in my life anymore. Tell him that, you know, that, that, to give you all custody. But you know what I said? I'm going to be your dad until I die. Although I was going through my things, but I said, you know what? You can't make that decision. I'm going to make that decision. You are mine. And I'm not giving you up. I'm not giving you up. And you know what? Today we have a great relationship. We have a great relationship. And sometimes we go through these things. But you know what? You need to stand firm. You need to stand firm in Christ. You need to pray for them. You need to stand there. You need to get in the strength of God to be able to pull through. Amen? Because yes. that's what I have to do every day. Mm -hmm. Every day. I'm going to end with this. Three counselors. I didn't know what to do. Because here I am working my way to become, you know, maybe one day I'm going to be a pastor, but not with this background. <laughs> So I go and I see my counselor and he said, you know what? One of them said, well, you know, you should divorce her because she's going to give you problems. By the way, she's in another country. So when she finds her way, she's really going to give you problems. And I was like, okay. 
Then go to the second one. He says, "Well, you know, if you divorce her, the uh, the council is not gonna, the denomination is not gonna appoint you as a pastor because you're moving that process. And wait until she divorces you. Okay, you know, it's like, <laughs> all right. So a friend of mine, a missionary friend of mine, is very direct. This is what he said to me. He said." He would, every time he would come, he says, you know what, Michael, I like spending time with you. Your God uses people, amen? Yes, yes. And he took me and he said, what happened? And I told him. And he says, you know what, Michael? Remember Nathan said, you are the man. He said, huh? You are the man. He said, you know what my friend said to me? He says, be a man. He said, he said that. But I know what he was saying. He says, be a man. Own own your, your, your responsibilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said that to me. Be a man. Face this. Mm-hmm. And recognize where you went wrong and what you did. And be a man, he said. Another thing I'm going to tell you, he said. Now don't you forget that God loves you. Do you understand? I said, like, okay. Alright. I needed to hear that. Yes. And he said, you know what? Find your place. Mm-hmm. People call it an identity. Find your place. Don't fall in depression, he said. Your identity. Find your identity, your place. And you know what? The thing that I gotta tell you is this. Our place is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And I was like losing my like my place. <laughs> who you are in God. And I love you. So going to Gomer is really ministering to me. Because I need to I need to hear that from that He loves me. That God loves me. Because sometimes we don't feel like that, right? Yes. But I need to hear God saying, I love you. I really do. Because of the things I've done in my past. Yes. And, I, and I didn't know how to share this with you. you know, I, I'm not going to bring you a sermon of missions. And t- I'm just going to tell you what, what I'm going through and how I ended up in our chapel. And God has everything orchestrated. He's watching over us. I work next door. And here I come to congregate here. And God... God is working out the details in that. Yeah. Luke 23, uh, 33, 34 says this. And when they when they had come to the place called Calvary, there they crucified him. And the criminals, one on the right and the other on the left. 34 says, verse 34 says, Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. And they divided his garment and cast lots. The book of Hosea is about the love that he has for the backslider. Hosea 14.4 says, I will heal the backsliding. I will love them freely. For my anger has turned away from him. I really needed to share with you what I share with you today and I know that God's faithful enough to say hey I needed to hear that I needed to know that there's a place for me 